So today we're gonna to be talking about the Bumble Ride Speed, which is a great jogger to consider buying if you're a new active parent. Stick around, we're gonna dive right in. Hey guys, Andrew here with Dad Verb, where we vlog, chat fatherhood, and share our thoughts on family-related products. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Bumble Ride Speed, which is a jogging stroller, more for the active parent. If you've been following along with our channel, uh, you may know that we have the Upper Baby Vista as kind of our daily driver. This isn't gonna be kind of a daily driver stroller. If you are looking for more of a daily driver, you can look into to the Bumble Ride Indy. This is the speed, this is the jogger, and uh, we really like it, especially for me being an active dad. So this guy's gonna be a good way of getting me out doors with Henry. So I think the best way to start talking about this stroller is just to kind of work our way from the top and then go on down. Uh, and we're gonna start with the handlebar. I'm not too sure about what the material that the handlebar is made of, but it does have a kind of a tacky feeling, so it's really good for gripping as you are jogging, as your uh, palms do get sweaty. It's not gonna be slipping off of the handles, so it's really good. It also does come with a safety strap, just in case you do lose control of the jogger, you're able to kind of uh, keep it taut and in control. To kind of adjust the height of this thing, there, there are two buttons that's kind of a double trigger mechanism. It does kind of go pretty far back, and it goes quite far down, so it's almost got, a nearly 180 degree uh, swivel. And then on the other side, you've kind of got this bell that's an optional feature. It does come with the stroller. You don't have to have it on there. We like to have it on there. And it's really good for letting uh, runners and other active people on paved trails, let them know that you're right behind them. So it, it's a handy little feature. Um, let's go ahead and move on to the canopy. The first thing I do want to talk about is this flap where you can have the screen to look down into the baby and check on the baby, make sure he or she is doing well. It is magnetized, which is pretty nice. Uh, by these two little points right here, you can feel these small magnets that help strap on. Uh, and it's not Velcroed down, which I really like, so you don't have this kind of and then you wake up the baby. Or if you want, you can just kind of roll it up and then clip it up at the top over here and keep it so that you can always see the baby, which is kind of what I uh, have going on. The canopy is really nice. It really feels like it offers a lot of coverage. This is what it looks like when it is down. And then when it's up, you've got a nice full range. And if you need to, you can uh, extend it for uh, extended sun shade. And that's, that's really good from hot Texas sun, both low sun and high sun. This is able to keep Henry's face and body covered. The only part that really might be exposed might be the legs a little bit, but that's not much of an issue. For additional sun coverage, you do have this option to kind of add this back canopy part that you can zip or unzip. You don't need to have it on there. We like to have it on there, but it kind of helps uh, protect the back. And when you do have it on there, it does have this little pocket that we use for phones and wallets, which is pretty good. I would say that the, that the hardest part about this entire setup when you do unbox the stroller is probably setting up the canopy. There's so many snaps, there's about like 10 to 15 different snap points to make sure it's all secure. So it is very secure and there is a lot of sun protection. It just does take a minute to set up, but it is like Christmas day. So it is very fun to set up, I will say. Now moving on to the seat, you can uh, adjust the seat back. So right now it's kind of uh, at a lay down position, but there is this clip back here where you can raise the seat all the way up. Uh, when you do raise the seat, you do have these two uh, pockets in the back to uh, put in water bottles or what have you. Moving on to the front of the seat right here, uh, the, the cushion is very, very soft. I wouldn't say it's super breathable. Uh, when we did go jogging, we picked Henry back up. His back was a little bit sweaty, he was a little hot, but he was okay for the most part. It is very comfortable, it's nice. It does come with a five-point harness uh, as well to, keep, uh, to make sure he's safe. And then there is uh, one little pouch in there to either keep his pacifier or a small bottle or whatever you want. And there is a safety bar that it does come with that is adjustable as well. So some notes about the actual fabrics themselves. Uh, it, they do come in five different colorways. This is the maritime blue that we ran with. There's also a gray tone, a black tone, and a green tone as well that you can find on their website. And this is made of a polyester material. Moving down, uh, let's talk about the actual frame itself. Uh, the frame is aluminum and uh, it weighs about 26 pounds. Height wise, we're looking at about, about 45 inches or so and on the ground another 40 inches 40 inches long 45 inches wide it, again it is pretty heavy it, sometimes it does get a little bit bulky in the trunk and all that uh, but for the most part it does have a slim profile when it is folded I would say the biggest con about this jogger is the way you fold it down this isn't a one hand fold it's a, it's a double trigger fold so you need two hands to do it there are triggers on either side of the frame so to do that you go ahead and pull up on the trigger and then you lift up and then you can start to see it fold down into this slimmer profile-ish and uh, it is able to stand 
on its own, just like this, and there is a handle so you can kind of lift all 26 pounds of this guy. Now to get this thing back open, you kind of have to have the wheels facing away from you. There's a little uh, release trigger uh, on the left and you basically lift up and you just pop it right open. So it is fairly easy to get all up and ready. So moving down the frame into the basket, it is a simple basket, it gets the job done, can hold whatever you need to. I would say that my one gripe about it compared to other strollers uh, would be that it'd be nice if there was a cover, some sort of cover that kind of came over and was able to Velcro a snap onto the side or something like that to kind of protect the stuff from either falling out or protect it from rain or some sort of element like wind. But the basket does get the job done. Inside there is a zipper and inside of that zipper is an air pump. These are air filled tires so that in the case there is low air, you're able to pop it in there on the Go and pump up the air, so that's, that's really nice. Moving on down to the tires, these are air-filled tires. There's three of them. Uh, you have two 16-inchers and a 12-incher right there. We were able to take this kind of off-road uh, in a nature preserve close to our house, and this was able to take a lot. Uh, when the baby's in there, you don't want to subject a baby to a lot of bouncing and, and a lot of bumping around, but the suspension on this is pretty solid, uh, and with the addition of the, uh, of the large tires, it is able to get around obstacles and rocks with a fair amount of ease and keep the baby from too much shock. So it, it's, it's a pretty good set of tires that this thing does come with. Uh, there's just kind of a standard braking system in the back where uh, it's able to move freely when it's up and if you want to lock it, you just kind of press it down and it stays uh, in the locked position, move it back up again. I want to swivel it to the front and show you guys that there are three different modes uh, that you can set this on. Uh, when you are in a jogging mode, you kind of want to keep this straight and this isn't gonna rotate when it is in kind of a jogging mode, right? It's not gonna deviate from you. Uh, now, if you do uh, want to keep it on a 360 motion, you can kind of keep it like that. You can, if you wanna roll around target or something like that. And then if you are kind of jogging through like a neighborhood, like a windy neighborhood, but you do wanna keep it fairly straight, you can set it on this mode where it just kind of turns 30 degrees and it's not gonna have, give you that full rotation, but it's gonna give you just enough turn to navigate through some windy sidewalks in your neighborhood. So that's kind of a, a general, review of the Bumble Ride Speed. So let's real quick talk about pricing. This does retail at around the 550 range, which is gonna be a little bit higher compared to some of the competitors in its same range, like the Thule Urban Glide and the Bob Revolution. Yeah, this is gonna be on the higher price point, but I do think it is worth it. From the running and the off-roading that we've done with it, I've been really happy. So to round this out, I do wanna talk about Bumble Ride and their core philosophy, and that is all about sustainability. Having worked in the fashion industry, kind of watches and all that, I know that textiles is responsible for most of the world's pollution. The great thing about Bumble Ride is that their fabrics are made of 100% recycled plastics. Now we're talking about 28 post-consumer plastic bottles that goes into each stroller, a 55% reduction in CO2 emission, no harmful chemicals. So is this the Prius or dare I say the Tesla of strollers? Yeah, maybe. It is kind of green and eco-friendly and uh, that's kind of what you are buying into when you do buy a Bumble Ride. You kind of are supporting the environment in some way. Now, is that gonna affect your buying decision? It shouldn't, it might for some. Some people are gonna be all about it, some people might be opposed to it, I guess you can say. But regardless of where you stand, this is a great brand and I'm very proud that they were able to sponsor this video and I really do thank them for it. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and smash that like button down below. For more vlogs and reviews just like this one, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching this video and come back for the next one. God bless guys.